Hello and welcome to the program. The mission of the International Monetary Fund has arrived in Kiev for the assessment of the implementation of the current standby arrangement here in Ukraine. Uh, the mission aims to determine Ukraine's readiness to receive the second tranche of a loan and discuss the economic policy with the new administration. Now, I'm pleased to say to talk more about this, we welcome to our studio today Yevhen Nevmerzhitsky, an economist. Hello, Yevhen. Thanks for coming in. Good evening. Thank you. So the uh, I, uh, IMF uh, team will be here for a couple of weeks and they're going to meet uh, with uh, President Volodymyr Zelensky. Um, so what do you think is going to happen over the next uh, few weeks and what are they going to be looking at in particular? I believe and I hope that uh, uh, International Monetary Fund will continue its uh, work here in Ukraine and maybe even uh, to make it a little bit wider because expectations of investors uh, are a little bit higher after mm. uh, such kind of results of uh, uh, elections because uh, uh, Ukrainian society, uh, the world expects uh, changes uh, of our uh, system, economical system, mm. changes uh, uh, combating, real combating uh, corruption. And uh, because of that, uh, expectation are higher, they, uh, they are positive. Yes, and also, um, the, I mean, there's a lot of uh, IMF uh, loans, I say a lot, like several IMF loans that also need to be repaid soon as well. So yes. I would imagine that's probably going to be one of the issues they're going uh, to discuss. Yes, uh, this year we have to pay more than uh, 10 billion of uh, uh, euros uh, mm. uh, as uh, uh, repayment, include, including uh, percentage. And uh, uh, those parts of uh, uh, amounts we have to receive are much less than we have to pay. And, uh, of course, uh, uh, growth domestic product of Ukraine is uh, more than uh, 100 billion, mm. uh, but uh, the uh, help uh, of uh, International Monetary Fund amounts are a little bit more than 2%. Uh, percent. So it's not much for Ukrainian economy, but mm. uh, important is uh, the fact of relationship, because it is very good signal for other creditors and uh, most of all for private investors. And this aspect is most important for Ukrainian economy. Yeah, of course, because I would imagine that a lot of investors who are perhaps uh, looking towards Ukraine, you know, post uh, the presidential elections, obviously the parliamentary elections are uh, going to be coming up in a several months as well. So the IMF uh, team, what uh, their results will be, and I don't know if they will be made public or not, but whatever results they have is definitely a signal for yes. investors. Yes, sure. And uh, on one hand, we will continue a uh, formal relationship with the International Monetary Fund. But on the other hand, uh, this relationship will get something new, uh, including those expectations we mentioned. Uh, so, and I believe that uh, uh, investors, foreign investors, mm. uh, not only foreign, but uh, home investors as well, could be much more active uh, looking at uh, real actions of uh, new uh, president's uh, team. Mm. Uh, and uh, if uh, this team will make real steps to protection of uh, investors, uh, so uh, the situation uh, in economy uh, could change uh, uh, quite uh, in a how uh, can you, can you give an example of that of what the presidential team uh, could do to um, support the climate okay, for investors. Okay, uh, first of all, we should solve things with uh, debts. Uh, mm. uh, we, uh, and uh, those debts which are unreal to pay. So our people, uh, due to uh, not uh, uh, just uh, uh, tariffs for uh, uh, for electricity and so on, so, uh, and we have more than 70 billion Rivnas uh, debts uh, which mm. are not realistic uh, to pay back. So it means uh, uh, I believe that uh, president's team should just declare. Of course, it's not decision uh, of uh, ad president's administration, mm. but uh, the team could uh, declare that this problem uh, is a problem of a president. It should be solved by the government, by the state, mm. by the president, and president should influence it as it 
it is a constitutional rights of uh, people to have uh, good heating and so on and so on and mm. so on. Uh, well, uh, and restructuring debt will uh, make better uh, discipline payment discipline of uh, of people and maybe tariff uh, mm. could be balanced should be balanced it uh, it's one uh, part of thing another part uh, uh, president's team uh, can do and the uh, society expect this uh, some solving of uh, corruption uh, scandals uh, we have many of them and uh, if president will influence this uh, mm. subject, will uh, do something. So, uh, well, I'd imagine that's probably what the IM, uh, IMF are going to be looking at: sort uh, of the illegal uh, enrichment and uh, this sort of issue. Uh, okay, what I mean, yeah. just uh, de uh, declaring that uh, uh, main prosecutor should be changed. What does it mean that president thinks about this? Uh, he uh, already promised that he will uh, do something uh, to uh, combat uh, corruption, mm. to uh, chase uh, uh, those... Uh, uh, people who make, made uh, uh, corruption, criminal uh, mm. things, yeah. uh, uh, well, and, uh, and of course some uh, other steps. I can uh, offer some uh, another thing. For example, uh, uh, it should be some uh, program uh, of uh, uh, investors' uh, protections, uh, right. and uh, such programs uh, could uh, be quite quite many of them in agricultural uh, sector. Do such programs yeah. exist already? Are you, sorry, you're saying I, agriculture uh, and other sectors? Uh, yeah? Okay. Uh, as I know from uh, open uh, sources, uh, that uh, president's team uh, develop some uh, programs and so on and so on. And uh, I see some um, uh, professional economists uh, among his uh, team. Mm. So I believe that uh, such a program are under development and uh, I am you know, offering something from myself, what yeah. could be done. Many things could be done and most uh, important thing is the will of president to do uh, things which have to be done. Yes, well, after all, he's the uh, servant of the people, you know, ultimately. Um, I think what was interesting is the Institute of uh, International Finance uh, estimates that Ukraine would need, uh, in their words, additional funding from the IMF at $2 billion uh, next year. Um, so do you think that that's enough? Or does Ukraine really need more or does uh... it need less? I would say Ukraine need much more and uh, uh, Ukraine can generate much more from other sources and uh, it is much better to gen generate from other sources, mm. uh, most of all from private investors, uh, as we already mentioned. Uh, well, and uh, the, I do not think that we should uh, make wider the program with uh, IMF, uh, take into consideration that uh, these loans are uh, under the very uh, good percentage uh, uh, below three uh, mm. percent, it's quite good for uh, for Ukraine. Uh, but we should keep this uh, relationship uh, again uh, to have this uh, good signal for mm. investors. And the best signal for investors, uh, beside uh, uh, cooperation with uh, IMF, uh, is uh, good uh, uh, attitude of uh, other private investors, foreign private investors, which already do doing a business in Ukraine and this business could be uh, very, very profitable, much more profitable than in stable euro. Yeah, and um, I would imagine that perhaps uh, even some of the investors who are already here don't want to tell the other investors what they're doing. <laughs> maybe, because maybe, we'll, maybe. Uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Not to lose <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, thank you so much for coming into the studio today and uh, hopefully we'll see you again soon. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That was Yevhen Nevmajitsky, an economist. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more here on UAE TV.